Hey guys, it's me Sam and in this video, yes this video, is going to be my July favourites. Yes, once a month I like to pack my bottom down, collect myself a nice cup of coffee, have a chat with you guys. And I just like to share my 15 favourite things for out this month. But, as I said, there's 15 things for me to talk about. And I'm going to start off with number one, and it is what has been my favourite nail polish to wear in the month of July. And it has been this gorgeous pastel blue nail polish. It's from Filthy Gorgeous. You can find this in Debenhams, but you can also find it in Powerland, which is what me and my daughter did. So this actually is uh, my daughter's that she got from Debenhams. She didn't pay for it, she got a nan to pay for it. All I know is it wasn't cheap. Absolutely gorgeous packaging. I love the shade. It's just a lovely, lovely pastel pale blue. It's called Tea Bird. And a few weeks ago, me and my daughter went shopping and we popped into our local Poundland and she came across another one of these. So she gave me this and she's got the other one. Definitely. So this, this I love this colour. It's just so pretty. Very, very pretty. Okay, my second favourite thing this month is um, hair products. And it's two things. And uh, it's our, I, I, I hate pronouncing this word. Swatch Gliss Hair Repair with Liquid Keratin. This is the ultimate volume subtube and the ultimate volume conditioner. I love this stuff. I love it a lot. I did wash my hair this morning. For some reason, my hair seems to have gone frizzy. I think it's because I was in such a rush to get ready for my job interview that I, I just wanted to get it done and get gone, otherwise I would have been late. So I, I love this because not only is it repairing my hair, which is it's quite damaged obviously from dying, it, it gives it volume as well. Normally my hair is quite flat, but as you can see I've got a bit of oomph going on, which is always good. Okay, number three is what has been my favourite handbag to use this month, and it's this brown satchel here. I um, actually bought this from a charity shop, but it was originally from Next. That's the proof. And the reason why I like this bag so much is because I love bags with loads and loads of compartments. We've got two here at the front. We've got another two here. Actually one to hide your lipstick in or your lighter if you're a cigarette smoker like myself. And there's another one here to put your mobile phone into. My mobile phone's not in there at the moment, it's on the side because I'm at home. There's another compartment here. You can hide other stuff like the keys. And then it's just this bit in here where it's obviously the main compartment. And I've got a few other bits and bobs in there that I want to show you guys later. But it's just ideal. It's very on trend and I hate flies i would just like to say that they're doing my head in really badly i'm gonna have to kill them everybody was kung fu fighting those kids were fast as lightning in fact it was a little bit frightening but they fought with expert timing as you can see world war three was commencing over there then between those two flies. They have invaded my kitchen and I am not impressed. If that fly comes anywhere near me again, I swear it's going to be dead eat. I've had enough of it. I know he's watching me. Oh God, there's another one as well. <coughs> I really do think that fly is stalking me. It's just sat there on that picture frame. Going like this with his legs at me. Okay, I'm now going to move on to my fourth item, which is what have been my favourite shoes to wear this month. For some reason, I seem to have got rubbish in them. Don't know how, but I did. Anyway, my favourite shoes to wear this month have been these sandals, which, as you can see, are looking a bit tatty now. There they are. So, like, you know, if I do them up at the back, I might see how to see them a bit better than my standards. I got these from store 21 for about five. I actually bought these last year 
this probably explains why they look so battered now. But I just think they're really, really pretty because you've got this flower on the front. It looks better when they're on. And they're really comfortable to wear, considering. Because some flat sandals I find aren't. And with my Achilles tendon problem, I, I like to have my ankle quite well supported. And a lot of sandals don't do that, so I tend to avoid them. But these have been a blessing, and I've literally worn them all throughout this month because it's been stupidly hot here. My feet have been sweating like you wouldn't believe, so... You, oh, just let's not go there. I love. Okay, number five. What has been my favourite accessory to wear this month? And it's just been these babies. These ones here. Yeah. My shade. I couldn't have lived without these, actually, to be perfectly honest. Um, it's been a few occasions when I've gone out for walks along my local canal this month. And because it's been so hot and sunny here, the sun's been blinding everyone. So these have been protecting my little peepers. Not only that, they prevent me from squinting, thus preventing myself getting wrinkles. I may have failed slightly there. But, um, yeah, couldn't have lived without these. As you can see, we have now been joined by Miss Fairball over there. Yes, you. She loves me, really. She does. Well, anyway, sunglasses. Um, these were pinched off my daughter. See, I did have a nice pair of sunglasses, but my other half pinched them off me. She left me without sunglasses, apart from... Well, I have got another pair. They're in there. Let's find them. This could take a while, guys. Sorry, I'm going to have to disappear into this bag. It's that big. I literally could climb in there. Oh, I'll find them. Yep, I've got these as well. Which aren't as good, because I don't cover all my eyebrows up. And I'm missing bits from off the side, because I should say D and G. But they got broken, I lost them, and... But they just look a bit too tatty these days, whereas these are more, I don't know, deaverish. I like these. Okay, number six is what has been my most favourite clothing item to wear this month. Now, you guys wouldn't have got to see me wearing this last Friday because I didn't do no videos last Friday. I had to go to a job interview. Mm, yeah, I, I, I applied for a customer service assistant jobby kind of thing. It's working for a company that makes scooters and beds and chairs for the elderly and disabled people. And I wanted to look really, really smart. Um, I just couldn't find nothing, nothing, because I was like, I need to stay cool, because I'm going to have to walk there. But at the same time, I don't want to look like a dirty hooker. So I was mooching for my daughter's stuff, as usual. I love the fact that I can get into my daughter's clothes. It's so awesome. I might come across this peach top here. And I was like, that is just so perfect. I can slip this lovely pink cardi I've got over the top. And this will look awesome. And at the same time, I can catch the sun quite easily and get a bit of a tan. So, I wear this. I don't know if you can see it properly, guys. Let me stand up. I don't know what's going on. It's like I'm moving in slow motion. Well, anyway, that's what it looks like. I'm just sort of with, uh, as I said, a pair of black trousers. I was going to wear the skirt, but then I thought, no, I, I don't want to scare them silly. So I just chose for black trousers, similar to the ones I'm wearing today. Stuck a cardio over the top, short sleeves. Went for a nice, classy makeup look. Plus some classy looking jewellery and job to good them. I look all fine. And um, yeah, that's what I wore last Friday. And I just think it's absolutely gorgeous. It fits really nicely. Beautiful colour, and um, hopefully it got me that job. Okay, number seven, what has been my favourite foundation to wear? And I'm wearing it today as well, because I'm that impressed with it. It's Maybelline's Superstay 24-hour Flawless Fresh Foundation. And this is in the shade Light Beige. It's in Light Beige. This stays, like, pop, like you would not believe. It really, really does. Once again, I tried this out for the first time last Friday when I went for my job interview and as some of you will know, I had to walk two miles to get there from the train station and I was so concerned that my makeup was going to sweat completely off my face. 
hence why I treated myself to this because I didn't want to take the risk and I'm so glad I did because my makeup did not budge no matter how much my face sweated I'm telling you when you're wearing sunglasses you can't help it you start sweating around this area and even there's nothing at it just hadn't budged whatsoever and as I said I'm wearing it again today because I had that job interview this morning and as you can see my face still looks flawless still looks exactly how it did this morning when I applied my makeup now I am seriously considering doing a review on this foundation so if you want to see it please let me know by leaving me a comment down below right and right what has been my favorite blusher to wear this month and it's this one from Avon's color trend range it's called cheeky and it's just a nice pinky salmony kind of shade just swatch it onto the back of my finger you may or may not be able to pick it up I do not know hence why I'm now going to rub it away over the back of my hand and hopefully you can see it a bit better sorry about the scar guys that cannot be helped but it's just a nice bit of colour to the cheeks perfect for this kind of weather that we're having and I thought it's from colour trends quality is actually very good and the pigmentation is perfect so lovely pretty colour my stalker fly has now moved he's now on the wall just above me I'm also joined by another one just there on my laptop I shall call her Wilma as much as I love summer there's one thing I cannot stand the fact is that we cannot open our windows because we're getting faded by flies they just will not leave me alone I have found that if I sit here and I'm wearing something black, they attack me or they like to sit on my shoulder and whisper sweet things to me. Okay, number nine has been my favourite lip product this month and it's another A1 colour trend product and it's a lipstick, obviously. It's called Flirt and I've mentioned it before in one of my previous videos. And that's what it looks like, it's like a, an orangey coral kind of shade. Once you apply it to the lips so you can see a better look of it. And the one thing I like about these lipsticks from the Color Trend range is that they go on really, really well and easily from the bullet. Uh, so it's got like a, a bit of a, a orangey red going on. Once again, this time of year, lovely colour to wear. Love how it adds moisture to my lips actually stays put for a long, good long uh, period as well I'm not going to say it's going to stay on all day it isn't for a good couple of hours thumbs up number 10 what has been my favourite mascara to wear this month and it is my Avon Super Shock Mascara in Black I have had this for far too long now in fact I know I've had it for far too long because it is sadly starting to dead it itself on me it is finally drying out now I like to look after my mascaras because even though we get told we should change our mascaras every so many months I think it's a load of fool personally I think as long as we don't contaminate the brush by sharing it with somebody else as long as we keep them tightly done up as long as we take good care of them as well and oh the one thing I will also say is do not plump your wand in and out of them because that knackers up the brush it clogs it up big time and you just don't want that because who wants spider effect lashes no one so that's my tip of the day look after your mascaras because they can last longer than you think now like i said i've had this for like forever and it is starting to eventually die on me so i'm gonna miss this when it's gone i shall miss you a lot but it just gives me enough coverage for my lashes to make them look like i've got lashes I'm not wearing it today, but um, whenever I do, I mean, I, I wear it a lot on my tutorial, so you've probably seen me wearing it throughout this month. But I just love the effect it gives to my lashes. Number 11, what has been my favourite body product to use this month? And it is this. It is Gok One's Gorgeous Body Butter with Argan Oil. Yeah, um, for those of you that live in the UK, you've more than likely heard of Gok One. E he normally has like a, a program on the telly where he advises women on how to dress correctly for the shape and size. 
Oh, I love this dude. I think he's awesome. I, I'd love to meet Gok one, to be honest. But lately he seems to be doing more yoga adverts and cookery programs. Well, he's Asian, so I can understand that bit. He obviously likes to cook, but I know him for his clothes advice. And obviously he must have let out a smelly beauty stuff range as well. Because I had this lovely set bought for me by my mother-in-law for Christmas and it contains all the lots of goodies and it's in a beautiful little purple fancy box and I haven't used them until recently and this is just so delightful. Let me just read the back out to you. It says, buttery goodness for your gorgeous bod. Massage into your skin to leave it feeling massively moisturised and smelling and tasty to dip in. Contains organ oil, known for its rich and nourishing properties, used by Moroccan women in their beauty rituals. Well, that doesn't encourage you to use it, I don't know what, well. Now, I know organ oil, originally from when Avon was doing serum for the air. I think they still do it now. And it just does wonders for your hair. Obviously, now you can get argan oil and lots of other stuff, including this gorgeous body butter. I shall open it now and show you the inside. As you can see, it's hardly been used. It just smells so lovely. And I start whacking it away from the skin. And you don't really need to use all that much either. Hence why not so much is gone. And, oh, it is lovely, guys. It really is. It makes your skin feel soft and moisturised. It leaves you smelling like a queen. It's just delightful. Right, number 12 is what has been my favourite perfume or body spray to wear this month. And it is this. It is intimately Beckham. Something else I have bought for me for Christmas. It comes with a body lotion as well. But so far I've only used the perfume and I've only ever worn it once. And that was last Friday for my interview. Can you tell I was trying to impress guys? I was so in trying. I tried so hard. Oh, well, anyway, I love it. I wish I'd worn it before. It just smells so, mmm, really mature. And it's got like a musky smell to it. And I love musk. Oh, what can I say? Number 13. What has been my favourite face product to use this month? And it's not actually for your face. It's actually for around your eyes and this is Avon's a new Fatale eye gel cream yeah this this is the stuff that's been like sorting out under here for me as you can see I'm like getting some of my youthfulness back and that's really I'm a vampire and I like sucking blood no it's all down to this stuff and it lasts forever because I bought this like last year I didn't buy it I got it for nothing I sometimes forget myself I used to be an Avon lady, yeah, so it, yeah, it was one of my freebies, and what a good freebie it was, because um, as well as this, you got the moisturiser, and I think that's the vice primer as well, which I've also still got, but this is really nice and light and refreshing, and strangely enough, I may actually have done a review on this before, if not, maybe I could do one, it's up to you guys, if you want to see, let me know, but I love how it sinks in, um, I don't feel like I have to pat it in too much, I can just leave it and after a few minutes I look back, it's, it's gone, it's been absorbed in. And as I said, it's really starting to brighten up this area. Um, most of my fine lines here are starting, unless I go, you can see them, but they are actually starting to um, fade away. Number 14, what has been my favourite shower gel or bubble bath to wear this month? And it's another product from me. Gok One Beauty set and this is Gorgeous by Gok Bath Essence. This is like the most prettiest bottle I have seen in a long, long time. Not only is it pink, we also have a lovely gold boom for the bottle top, which you want to screw and your lovely gorgeousness is inside there like so. It says in the back, indulge, relax and pamp yourself in a bath of fragrant bubbles and moisture. A night in has never felt so or left your curves feeling so divine. Pour into running water and immense yourself into relaxing fragrant bubbles. This is not a food. Keep out of reach of children. Who teaches their kids that the stuff is food? Is it not just common sense? I do not know. Okay, finally we have reached the last one which has... Number 15, and what has been my favourite food or drink this month? And um, I actually haven't got one this month. 
normally I find some kind of weird thing, but I don't think of, I, can't, I don't actually, no, I have not come across anything fascinating or weird or anything that gone, oh, I've never seen that before, it tastes so good. No, unfortunately not. I, I've got flies fighting around my head now, this is just in my arm. I'm going to have to dead them. I am armed and they will kill. Yeah, if you want to know how to kill a fly, get yourself some newspaper or some thing similar to newspaper, roll it up, get yourself some spray. Now this is my Airwick Air Fabric spray. Squirt the fickers and then bash them. Works a treat, guys. One down, two to go. Two down and one to go. Um, so yeah, um, nothing. I made a bun pie the other day. Ooh, flying number three just nearly got it then. Bun pie. Oh, yeah, I made a bun pie. I made it look all good. The only thing I didn't do was add the cream because I thought oh, I'll wait till I'm serving it up before I add the cream. And when it came to serving it up, I was like, oh, I'll get Jess to do it because she's a chef. She knows what she's doing. She'll make it look pretty. And she completely wrecked it. She just got the cream and just splattered it over the top. She you know, made no attempt to make it look good. Her response was, I have to do that stuff at work all the time and I get paid to do that. I don't get paid to do it at home. So, tough. Eat it. And I was like, so I won't be making one of them again. But that really actually did quite upset me. Um, apart from making a fly soup. No. Well, anyway, guys, that is my July favourites done. Thank you very much for taking the time to sit down and watch it all. Um... For the next couple of days, I should be doing more makeup tutorials at a guess. As I said before, at the beginning of the video, I am thinking of doing a few more reviews as well. So, if there's anything you want to see, let me know. If there's anything you'd like me to do for you, let me know. <laughs> if you don't ask, you don't get, guys. That's something I've learned. Well, anyway, guys, that is it for me for today. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you all soon. And until then... Bye-bye.